the stereotypical farmer is not a guy that is, you know, holding a pitchfork with a straw in his mouth and a straw cap on. There's no, there's no cookie cutter designs like they have in other corporate world, you know. This is like, we're problem solvers every day as farmers. We're farming in a complete different world than we've ever been in the past. This ain't like construction or other businesses. In agriculture, when it's planting season, the whole United States is going to plant the whole crop in a six to eight week time period. If I gotta run to five the next morning, we're gonna do it. We ain't got no choice, we're rolling. So the reason I'm so driven is because I really only have about 40 crops that I'm intimately involved with. So we're on a clock, that clock is ticking fast. Days go slow and years go fast and I swear that clock is speeding up. When we say send it, it doesn't matter what happens. Take it to the extreme, don't look back. We'll see what happens at the end. You, you, don't, you don't worry about if you put too much in. If you put too much in, it's probably just right. There's a lot to be learned by taking things too far. To me, the sustainable approach and the high yield approach, those paths are converging. I find that very exciting and I believe that's what's gonna take us to the next level. Where we live at in, in this community, uh, we have to do things very differently. So we're in the Chesapeake Bay watershed in the state of Maryland. We have to make every ounce count here in Chesapeake Bay. So we've got two types of rice on our farm. You don't have to be flooded to make rice. So this is an unconventional way of planting rice. I kind of partial to growing rice simply because that's something that goes straight to your table. With a strip freshener, we can put a lot of liquid out, then that way it takes eases up on the planter and gets us back down into a range of planting that we can manage to where we can still get some acres planted in a day. You can see there where we got bunches of roots, and so we use PGRs and sugars. Everything we can do to encourage the microbial activity around this plant and this root ball. I really think we're onto something. I don't think zero nitrogen is the answer, but we're really trying to achieve that balance and see what happens. We're living close to the cities. We're trying to save the bay. We're trying to do the right thing. You know, farmers are stewards of the land. We're not trying to do the wrong thing. We're constantly trying to do the right thing. I lost my mom when I was a senior. My dad, you know, in my 30s. My best friend, my farm manager. The problem with the career that I have is I'm, I'm growing crops. When you're a farmer, you can't stop. My goal is to not only farm sustainably, but doing it while raising 442 bushel corn. I want to show the world that it can be done at the same time. And so I can't wait to see where the next generation is gonna push this farm. There is another level that people aren't seeing in agriculture. And for us to do all that and still bring to the table a really, really safe, source of food that has been grown in a sustainable environment that we have done the absolute best that we can do to be stewards of our land for the next generation and still be able to tell that story is amazing to me. That's my hope for Extreme Night.